They're back to trying to pack the United States Supreme Court with more anti-gun and far left-leaning justices, and that is not good. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Lear Capital. Last year was a terrible year for investors, and predictions are that 2023 will be even worse with the upcoming recession. But what did have a really impressive year this past year was gold investments. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. The team at Lear will provide helpful information about purchasing gold or converting part of your IRA or your 401k into a gold IRA. Not only are they the best around with over 25 years in business and thousands of five-star reviews, but they also have a 24-hour risk-free guarantee where you can review your investment for 24 hours before committing to it. You can learn more at leargg.com or call 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jared. This is Guns and Gadgets. This is where I bring you Second Amendment news every single day. So if you want to stay in the know of what's really going on in the political and legal world of the Second Amendment, then subscribe to this channel down below. Please like the video and share it too if you get anything out of it to help us break the anti-gun algorithm here on YouTube. And before I jump into this story, I want to also remind everybody that tomorrow, Wednesday, the 26th of April 2023 at 10 a.m., I will be going live because the director of the ATF, Stephen Dettelbach, will be before the House Judiciary Committee and he is being, <laughs> he's, he's getting hammered on all of the things ATF's been doing. It's the oversight hearing for them. It won't be a 15 hour event. It's the only thing on the schedule as of right now. <laughs> but uh, I will, uh, I'll have that going out live. Uh, it'll be tomorrow live at 10 and I'll make the posting sometime after this video so you can, Put the reminders on. Let's jump into this story here. So over 30 pro progressive groups have joined together with, uh, with like-minded anti-gun individuals and have realized, listen, the Bruin decision has set us back. And as long as Justice Clarence Thomas is there, we're going to keep losing, right? So now there's a big effort to put pressure on Justice Thomas. They want him to resign. I covered that link is down below. It's floating above if you're on YouTube itself. But they know they can't continue their anti-gun ways with Justice Thomas at the helm. So these groups, some of them are Color of Change, Greenpeace USA, NARAL Pro-Choice America, March for Our Lives, Action Fund, etc. Uh, joined together and formed just, the Just Majority campaign. And this campaign is looking to discuss addressing the Supreme Court and how they're you know, conservative leaning now. And they wanna talk about adding more justices to the Supreme Court so that they can bring the court back in line. Well, the Supreme Court, if you forgot from civics back in the day, I know they stopped teaching civics, it is the third branch of government. You have the administrative branch, that's Joe Biden and his idiots. <laughs> There's the legislative branch, which is Congress, the House and the Senate, and the judicial branch, which is headed by the United States Supreme Court. It's not supposed to fall in line with the others. It serves as a check and a balance to the others, just as those two serve as a check and a balance to the court itself. But there's a big movement to add left-leaning, uh, very liberal Supreme Court justices to a life appointment so that they can do things in the immediate and get them changed with upcoming cases. You also notice that this morning at like 5.30 this morning, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris announced they're running again for a second term. There's a reason this is all happening at the same time. This group, uh, Just Majority, yesterday signed into this campaign and launched a 20-stop bus tour in which the three loudmouth anti-gunners from Massachusetts, Senator Elizabeth Focahontas Warren, Senator I don't even live in the state Markey, and uh, Representative Ayanna Presley, they're going on a 20-stop tour across the country, because they should be taking care of Massachusetts, to talk about expanding the United States Supreme Court. Now, the official statement is, the project will spotlight the crisis of legitimacy faced by the court, highlighting the justices' unethical behavior and partisan rulings, and make the case for structural reforms such as court expansion. The group also said, and I quote, an unaccountable, 
unethical majority on the Supreme Court is behaving as the rules don't apply to them. It's time for a national conversation about adding justices so the court can once again advance justice and equality. End quote. Translation is, they're forcing us to follow the Constitution and the things we want to, uh, to push are unconstitutional and they're stopping us. That's exactly what it means. They need to have more left-leaning judges that will allow things like overturning D.C. versus Heller, over, overturning uh, McDonald versus Chicago, overturning New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin. Joe Biden has said that he's done everything he can administratively to restrict our rights in the Second Amendment. And the next thing he wants, obviously, is to have, I don't know, say 20 uh, pro-Biden or anti-gun justices to six pro-gun like we have right now in the court. And uh, this is something to pay attention to. So I will keep us abreast to what's going on. This group is brand new. It was formed, well, it's been formed in the last couple of weeks, but yesterday they announced their more than 20 stop tour. I will keep us in the loop. And if you want to stay in the know, then subscribe to Guns and Gadgets down below. I will keep you in the loop. I'll let you know exactly what's going on, what they're saying. Does it have any stroke? Uh, because Congress can change the number of justices in the Supreme Court. It has been different numbers throughout time, uh, but, uh, well, not time, throughout the history of the country. But it, uh, it, it's backfired tremendously on the last time they tried to pack the court to push liberal agendas. I'll let you know what's going on. I'll keep you in the loop. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Guys and gals, I love each and every single one of you. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.